Hello right, guys, this is Lil Tobo here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog item toy review. As we know, this little booster, Sonic the Hedgehog, currently seems to have a blindfold of sorts. Perhaps maybe he wants to be a ninja? Who knows, we shall never know. Let's get straight into the actual item. Here is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Aladdin Fletchbox. Pretty nice, eh? Now, there were two alliterations of this. There was a blue one, as you can probably tell, and there was also a red one. That played homage more or less to the whole special zone of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I did see the red one a few times, it, it wasn't fully complete, this is a fully complete one, I'll explain more or less how, why, etc. So yeah, I never got that one, so I just I picked this one up roughly 2-3 years ago. Uh, nice little, I guess, collector's piece I suppose, you can just pack it in, it's, it's, it can be a nice display piece. Anyway, let's get straight into the actual item itself. Now as I mentioned, this was manufactured by a Aladdin, not to be mistaken from the cartoon or the movie. It was roughly done, if I can get a good view of that, in two, well, 1993. So yeah, roughly when Sonic 2, 3-ish came out, depending on what part of the world you were from. Now, the overall world design itself is very basic, yet yeah, does its job, I suppose. Uh, you have got all, you know, sort of the Hedgehog label there, traditional from the actual game. You have the borders, you have the zone, you have the good old traditional loop-to-loop, -loop, which is always a plus. Uh, you have Dr. Robotic up here, <coughs> and you... I, I, the only thing that's a bit off is this pillar, like, I don't have no idea why it's even there. And you have, as you can imagine, Sonic the Hedgehog. I do like this picture in particular, because it's got this little, I, I guess, after effect, ghosting effect, more or less implying that he goes a little faster than the average hedgehog. So yeah. Now the rear top is very basic, it's just open bottom so, sort of thing. We'll show you what's inside as well. The back is just its promotional thing, a ladder at the bottom is just whatever. It's also got its original barcode. Now, when I mean complete, one of the things you should look at, like honestly, it, it really comes out to the to the collectors. Really, I, I, my one came with this. It's a uh, I'll call it a barcode of sorts. It was connected to the actual uh, item itself. It basically says a little kids kid made in the USA back to school. Now, when this was released, this was obviously part of it. Like I said, it's totally up to you how much of a collective. If you find one with this, why not pick it up? If you don't and you just want to purchase the item for what it is, why not itself? So that's the first thing you probably need to look out for. As far as the exterior goes, it's all right. I do know that Aladdin did make other what uh, other large boxes, besides Sonic, of course. They made, I think, uh, Disney ones as well, if I'm not, I'm not too sure. Anyway, so we'll get into the actual opening. So it's very basic, you just open it up just like a normal one. And here it is. Now, I'll put it, it's, it is just basically very, very basic in terms of just a normal lunchbox. It is, as you can imagine, designed just to put lunch in it. So we'll put it inside down for now. The second thing, like I said, totally up to you as much of a collector. I, just, I never knew this actually came with mine, but it's just a bonus. This actually came with it, it's more or less a promotional pamphlet that came inside the uh, the actual lunchbox to promote various products back in the day. Huh. Ah, good old Eslay. Ah, I remember that. Got major sugar fix out of that. So there's that. It's it's not needed, but if it's, if it's there and you want it, why not, right? The second thing is this. It's, I think it's referred to as a thermo. thermo? Uh, yeah, I think it's a foremost. Basically, it's just more or less uh, a, a, a drink holder where all you do is just put drinks in it <coughs> and it keeps it warm. So the actual picture is significantly different. You have the good old Sonic the Hedgehog running away, but you have multiple Sonic the Hedgehogs. So you have that Sonic, you have that Sonic, and you have obviously that Sonic. Uh, I think it actually follows through a mini comic, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you have that Sonic jumping, breaking something. Uh, you have Dr. Robotic there. So I'm not too sure if it actually follows through something. But yeah. Wait, maybe it does. I think it actually might does. I think what actually happens here is you see Dr. Robotic, you see Sonic just running to the screen, you see him just thinking what to do next and jumps onto the uh the machine that destroys it. I don't know. Probably. Now the ladder is uh ladder sorry the, the lid is quite basic it's just got the logo of a ladder. Same thing at the very bottom. So get rid of that. So it's the very thing at the very bottom. Now it's just a standard thermos sort of thing. Get rid of the lid and away you go. 
Now another piece, once again, it comes down to the collectors. You don't need this if you don't want it, but it's there if you want it. Um, put this here for now. Is this little piece of paper? Basically, this little piece of uh, piece of paper is the insulated bottle. It actually tells you what to do. It's easy to clean. No glass to break. Kids contact the cleaning instruction. It tells you how to clean it. At the very back, it's got more stuff. Like I said, it's not necessarily needed. I wouldn't, you know, look down upon anybody who who gets an item without this. However, I did. Kudos to me. But it's a. Uh, it is started. You just put the uh, juice, milk, whatever you want in there. And away you go. So it is an extremely nice collector's piece, to be honest. Um, when I, I wasn't too extremely ecstatic getting it initially when I first got it. I was more just thinking, okay, well, what we do? I got it. You know, life goes on, right? But apparently, um, this does go extremely high on the auction websites, and it's very collectible. I, I don't see how it is, to be honest. But apparently, it is. I don't know. Um, I'm more of a figurine sort of sort of guy ish at electronics, but hey, look, I got this, so why not? So now, as I mentioned, this is how it more or less fits. Pretty basic. Uh, put this there. That up. So, in terms of the overall, I guess I would say design is is pretty awesome. It does its job, I think so. As a kid growing up, I would have loved to have this, but obviously I didn't. So, as an adult, I must enjoy for what it is, right? Now, I got this whole set, if I'm not mistaken, for about a hundred dollars. Now, that to me at the time was a little far fetch, a little far stretch, and I was like, you know what? Oh, is it really worth hundred bucks? I just bit it and uh, I got it. I was like, alright, alright, no I bought it. Turns out individual pieces actually cost more than that, roughly. Uh, the third box I saw would go to 80 bucks, the actual large box I saw for go 120. Depends on the seller, depends on the condition, depends obviously where you're getting it. So, <coughs> now that I think about it, I did pretty much get a saving out of it, I suppose. But like I said, you know, it was one of those items where I was just like, you know, should I pick it up or should I not pick it? So I picked it up, you know, wasn't expecting too much, right? In terms of rarity, to be honest, I've never seen any other item as complete as this, or near as complete as this. So I'll probably have to pop it up roughly about seven and a half stars out of ten, simply because you can get the individual items and you can like combine it, or not a transformable sense, but you can pretty much get the pieces and get the complete version. But in terms of every single niche of pictures, um, obviously that increases the rarity in my opinion. Um, yeah, so it is a pretty nice item, guys. Um, if you're into these sort of stuff, look, go ahead and collect it. Why not me? It's one of those items I just picked up, and I said, you know, away I go. And uh, guys, thanks for watching again, and till next time. Thanks for your viewing, and speed on. Take care.